Six, seven classes you got up there's fault. Those other teachers' fault. You ought to walk in that school building tomorrow with that chest held high. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get to put the school tomorrow. Is that understood? Yes, sir. No practice tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Unless somebody don't show up for school tomorrow. Everybody, 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 Three, four days, get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> get to school, guys. All right, anybody got anything to say? 
Good job, defense! Yeah, baby. Put Good them job. socks in your locker. Let's <laughs> get a prayer. <laughs> Quick, just beat them. The line do the same job they did tonight. It was very, very great. If they do that, and if the offense keep doing what they doing, then we will have a good game. Coach Weider was over calling you Booby Miles tonight from Friday Night Lights. What do you think? I love Booby Miles. Like, he was, like that movie, that's my favorite movie. So when y'all call me that, it's just a motivation. It's Friday Night Lights. We need to turn them on next Friday night. Congratulations on a good game. Thank you. We're back in the victorious Rockwood locker room with two defensive standout, Nathan Briley and Dallas Strader. Nathan, look like you got you another block kick, which turned out to be pretty big on that extra point. Yeah, it was, it was a great feeling. I uh, had uh, Jason Goss help me. He shot outside and I shot inside. We've been practicing on it all week, and uh, we finally got the chance, and we done it. Dallas there towards the end of the game. We needed some big plays. Looked like you come up with a couple of big sacks. Yeah, I had a big guy in front of me. Knew his passing situation. Had to use a little speed. Uh, couldn't hit that big old guy straight up. He's strong. So I did. Get that speed, act like a going inside, hit that outside. And, get the good back. and Nathan, it looks like you had a couple of sacks too. How were you able to get pressure in there? Uh, well, I saw my guy was shorter than me. I acted like I was going to go inside. I know I had some speed on him, and I did swim move, went outside, and the quarterback was late my way. Dallas, I know we, had, we got in some uh, bad situations here in the third quarter. We got down 15 to 7. What Coach Webb tell you, seniors? Hey, we just need to keep on going, keep our heads up, keep smashing them in the mouth. Now they had, they had a 96 yard uh, drive on us, but we had to keep our heads held high and stick with it on defense. Looking at next week, we're probably going to play Boyd Buchanan. I know you boys have been part of a couple of Boyd losses, probably. What do we got to do to beat Boyd? We just got to keep this momentum going and forget about the past. We just need to go down there and play Rockwood football. Guys, congratulations on a big win. Enjoy it this weekend. Let's go to work, man. Thank, Thank you. you. We're back in the victorious Rockwood Tiger locker room with linebacker running back Jason Goss. Jason, congratulations on a huge win tonight. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Jason, looks like we were in trouble there down 15 to 7. What was the defense doing to, to turn the, the tide in the third quarter and early in the fourth? Well, we just kept playing hard like we did in the first half and kept going after them. We, had, we knew we had to stop them and we did what we had to do. Jason, what's this Tiger team got to do to beat the Boyd Buchanan Buccaneers next week? If we play like we did tonight, we should win. The puck is in the How's it feel to beat Grace Christian? Feels great, absolutely great. I love it. All right, congratulations on a great game. Good luck next week. Thank you. We're here with the head coach of the Tigers, John Webb. First off, coach, congratulations on a huge win. Well, it was a huge win for us, you know, but the type of football that you know, we really like to play. And you know, these last uh, two or three weeks, we 
Coach got back playing good football. Coach Webb, I don't even know where to start tonight. Big plays all over the field, offensive and, and defensively. Just talk about a few of the big plays in the game. Well, we had a lot of big plays. You know, we had a, you know some guys that really stepped up offensively for us. Uh, you know, made some plays and defensively we really stepped up. You know, to hold that bunch of 15 points is just incredible. And you know, we uh, we just came up big. You know, we throughout the whole game. You know, it's one of those type things. We we gave up probably a lot of yards, but you know, at times we was able to you know hold them and get the football back and do enough offense. We score some points. Coach, here in the third quarter, we got down 15 to seven. You told them in the locker room, you got your seniors together, and, and they really showed out there in the last probably 15 minutes of the ball game. Well, they did, you know, and I think everybody played hard for the seniors. You know, we got a really good junior class, uh, you know, that's played a lot of football for us, and hopefully we'll continue to play a whole lot of football for us. But uh, these guys, you know, they just kind of rallied around the seniors tonight, and the seniors, you know, they've been playing well. You know, several weeks back, we had a few bumps in the road, and. And uh, I kind of quit talking to them, and I went to my seniors and said, "Okay, guys, we got to get this straightened out." And you know, that's one thing that they did. They've they've done a great job leading us, and you know, continuing to talk to the players and showing great leadership. You know, that's what that's what we asked out of them, and that's what they you know continue to give us. Coach, last week we picked up a midweek transfer in Isaiah Jones, and I know he probably doesn't know a quarter of the playbook, but he's pretty electric when he gets the ball in his hands. Well, you know, really, he, he's he's a very smart kid uh, that's come in here, and you know, uh, fortunately for us. Uh, you know, we got a gift here a couple weeks ago. We really did. And Isaiah, you know, he gave us a little spark, uh, you know, through our practice time. You know, our guys were really trying to keep up. You know, he's got a little bit of different gear. And, uh, you know, he's given us a little bit of a spark right here. You know, but we've got other guys that, you know, can go to. And, and you know, we just got to continue to keep their confidence and keep playing. And uh, I feel like we've got a really good rotation of running backs that we can do some things with and now. And, and I, I felt like that all year long. But, you know, now he gives us a little bit different dimension. and. Uh, you know, these other guys, you know, they're, they're going to be crucial, you know, throughout the playoffs and hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll continue to work and I'm sure they will. They're great kids and, you know, they'll be back next year and you'll hear a lot about them. This team's pretty resilient, Coach. We overcame a, what I thought was a bad call right there before the half that allowed Grace to score and just uncharacteristically, we fumbled it. We laid it on the ground way too much tonight, but the team's so resilient and they just came all the way back to win this game tonight. Well, that's one of these things that we, you know, we try to work hard. Just like I said in the locker room, you know, that's what Rockwood football is all about. You know, it's kind of the we, we're playing like we're we know we're capable of playing, and uh, we know we're playing with a lot of confidence right now. And we're back to doing some of the things that you know we wanted to do and that we were doing early in the football season. You know, again, we had some bumps in the roads there, you know, about mid-season and didn't play well a couple of games. And you know, for whatever reason, I don't know, uh, but right now we're playing well at the time when you're supposed to be playing well. Coach, one season's over. Everybody's back to 0-0 for the new season. What does it look like playoff-wise for the Tigers? Well, again, you know, we, we talked about that off camera just a minute ago. There's a few things that could happen, and, uh, you know, it's really too early to speculate. I think we're probably going back to Boyd Buchanan by looking at it. And, you know, it's one of those things that can absolutely drive you crazy. And if you just look at it once or twice, then, you know, you're probably not going to be able to figure it out. But, you know, I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to that. I, I enjoy this system. Uh, you know, I think it's the best system, probably not. You know, it probably is for Rockwood High School, and there's no doubt about that. But uh, you just got to look at all the ins and outs of it. You know, I've got Coach Witter, our baseball coach, he loves it. You know, he's knocking on my classroom door and saying, hey, what if this happens? You know, man, he was over there on the computer trying to figure it out. But um, anyways, a lot of things could happen between tonight and tomorrow. I don't know exactly when these other teams play, but the you know, only thing I know is we're playing football next week, and that's what it's all about. Hey, Coach, only thing better than beating a private school is beating one two weeks in a row. Hey, good luck next week. And we'll see you in Boyd Buchanan more than likely. All right, thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. The Tigers pull off a huge victory over Grace Christian Academy Rams. Final score, 22 to 15. Next week, where do the Tigers go? We're not really for sure. Looks like we may have to make a return trip to Chattanooga for the Boyd Buchanan Buccaneers. So stay tuned to the Rockwood Sports Network for details, highlights, uh, player interviews, coaches interviews, and we'll see you next week. Until then, I'm Mark Clem. This is the Rockwood Sports Network.